So Ian McDermott just confirmed that Palpatine, uh, yeah, you get it. So hey, how's it going? Uh, some super exciting Star Wars news for you today. Uh, Ian McDermott seemingly confirms that Palpatine has sex. Yeah, um, not trying to be immature about the word, I just don't want my video to be censored in every single country in the world. But uh, yeah, some kooky news for you guys here. We're going to dive into this article a little bit. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. So this comes from Ian McDermott's recent interview with Empire, where he says the following when asked about whether he thinks Palpatine has you know or not. Quote, yes, he does have mm-hmm. It's a horrible idea to think of Palpatine having mm-hmm in any shape or form. But then, of course, perhaps he didn't. And yeah, that is what Ian McDermott has to say on that subject. Uh, <laughs> I agree with him wholeheartedly. Yes, he can have it. Yes, he can't. And either way, it is disgusting to think about. That wrinkly old man doing, you know, regardless. Even when he was younger in the prequels, I still don't want to think about that. But actually getting serious about this for a second, this has been a theory swirling around the internet for a while. A lot of speculation around this portion of Emperor Palpatine's life. How did he have a child? You know, uh, his child had a child. Like, there is life being created within the Star Wars universe. Now, it is something that George Lucas blatantly did not touch on, and for good reason, uh, trying to keep good, like, real-life things out of that storytelling because it's supposed to be in a galaxy far, far away, as we all know. You don't want those topics being touched on that much. Obviously, we know how Luke and Leia were born, Anakin and Padme, yeah, 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 but we don't need to show it, we don't need to talk about it. But when we are brought with questions like, how did Palpatine have a kid? He seems like such a old, just mystic guy. Did he use the powers of the Force to impregnate somebody? We don't truly know, and I'm sure that's why Ian McDermott was asked about this. Uh, it seems as of recently, a lot of these fan theories are coming across the desks of the Star Wars stars, and it is can either be funny or just downright like embarrassing or just out of pocket, depending on the theories and who you're asking. A lot of them roll with it. A lot of them think they'd be cool. And in Ian McDermott's case, he seems to leave it up for speculation. Now, diving a little deeper into this, yes, he probably did do this at some point in his life to have a kid, but also I agree with the man when he says he could have not because yes, he doesn't have to do that act. He is a being with great magical powers. He could have just created a son. And now that we've got all these cloning storylines going on in the Star Wars universe, he could have just tried to clone multiple versions of himself, and that's how he had a kid. Now, while I think it would be cool to know how Palpatine's son was born, did he get it on with a woman to have this child or not, it would be cool to know... <sighs> I guess how that came to be, but it's something we absolutely do not need. And I think that's kind of what Ian McDermott was trying to get across in this interview. But yeah, there is that news. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to know what you think about this interview and these comments from the man himself down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.